YouTubers, it's Nir from Nir Seaswear today providing you with a quick unboxing and demonstration review on the new 5G router provided by Ray. So here it is, this is how it comes pre-packed uh, via the courier delivery to directly to your residence. Once it's unboxed, it's in a white sturdy container, it weighs around 3 to 4 kilograms and pretty pretty well packed and uh, you can see quite clearly no damages. As you can see there's also not much information about the router specifications on this box and that's because there's very little information known about this router especially on the internet. This is a very different router that has been previously provided by RAIN. It's a router that can now be used indoors and outdoors. So this is the Hawaii 5G CPE model number N 5368X. So opening of the box is relatively straightforward. It needs to be placed on its side and using a knife or a sharp instrument you can just strip away or cut away the security tab and that gives you access to open the flap. Once cut it can then be shifted over to the main front side facing up and you can see then the flap is easy to open and it gives you access to the contents of the box. In the box you will find a user manual, two very simple and easy to understand pamphlets. In the side compartment, once opened, you will find the accessories and installation as well as power cables needed. This is the power cable. The flat LAN cable, it also acts as a power supply cable to the modem router. A nice solid stand for the router, the power modulator, and all the accessories that's needed for installation on the exterior of the building, such as the clamps. And then also you have a very short 1.5 meter LAN cable included. So the actual router is very snugly kept in the separate compartment and you can see it's quite snug in there, covered with a plastic protector. So here you have all the contents of the box shown. It includes all the accessories needed for installation internal of the home as well as if needed to install the router outside exposed to the elements. So it's quite a robust modem in terms of the way it's built. It's made to last the elements of the outside. There's a nice bracket at the back and at the front two to three LED lights. Turning it over you can really see where the power slash LAN port is and that supplies both power as well as the LAN network cable uh, needed for supplying internet The power access. modulator is actually quite unique in this case. It's got access for the power cable which is a normal kettle pin plug that plugs in. When you look at the power LAN cable that supplies, the blue tipped flat LAN cable, just plug one end of the blue flat LAN cable into the power slash LAN port. The other end goes into the power module as indicated, blue for blue. And if you need to connect a computer directly to the modem, you can do so with the short LAN cable that's supplied. So this LAN cable, one end can go directly into your computer LAN port. The other end can go directly into the LAN port provided on the power module. So you are then connected via LAN cable to your router. So again, just to revise, the color-coded blue LAN cable, the flat LAN cable, is both used for power and can be used as a LAN cable as well. It connects directly to the power line on the power module. The second connector 
is a LAN cable that can connect from the LAN cable port on the power adapter to your LAN port on a computer. So this is an RSA South African plug. So if you're wondering where the SIM card for the device sits, it's actually at the bottom of the router, unscrewing the screw that holds the cap to the device. And in it you can see there's the SIM module as well as a button to put the Wi-Fi on and off. The SIM card can then be inserted or ejected with the push to it. In this case, I'm connected via LAN cable. I'll put in the IP address where the router is located, which is given at the back of the router as well. I'll put in an a name and I've done it before so I've already configured a password for mine it's easy and you on here you could see there is a sim card that's already present my 4g signal is on one bar which is very bad but on my 5g it's sitting at four out of five bars right now which is very good and I have good internet and you can see that from my Wi-Fi setting it's giving me 2.4g and 5g Wi-Fi so log in to your CPE management and it immediately gives you a stats. You would see here the signal to noise ratio, what the upload traffic, up, up uh, link traffic, downlink traffic. Currently it's, uh, it's very variable in terms of speed and you can go and configure your security, your internet, your LAN, most importantly your WLAN settings. So 3G in terms of 2.4G, sorry, what your broadcast name would be, your password strength, etc. And then once that is set up, you are then ready to go in terms of accessing internet on this router. You have navigate to activate.rain.co.za. It'll take you to Rain's website where it gives you directions on how to get, get the best signal strength. So enter your address. I'm located in Nordvik Midrand, so you would probably put in your full address, which is included of the street, house number, and suburb, etc. You need to point your router to the direction where the blue dot is facing. So if you have a house and you have a window that's on the north facing side, as in this case where my blue dot is, the front of the router should be pointing in that direction. Okay, so you will and it'll give you an approximate speed at that current location that the router is facing. So I'm getting quite good speeds where my router is facing at the moment. And you can see a couple days ago, I've had quite a, a good, good speed. So for me, my current location is ideal. So you will need to move your router around the house, even perhaps put it on uh, closer to a window, closer to, to a north-facing wall, dependent on where your blue dot is. And in that way, get the best speeds you can. So when I initially started this, I was getting around 120 to 140 megabits per second. After moving around, I have managed to find the most ideal spot within the house. The router is not located outside at the moment. It's actually inside uh, and I'm getting quite a good speed. So once you've got your, your spot identified, you've tested your speeds, you get the most optimized speeds, you can then activate your 5G. That's it.